Diamonds in a rough for a while. What can I say? I was raised like them. As a youngin', I was caught up in that maze like them. I knew better, but I chose to behave like them. So I decided I could no longer be slaves like them. I wanted different, and so different is what I became. I seen things that made me wanna see change and refrain from all of the evil and ills, rushes and thrills in a city where the gleam of your grill can get you killed. I ain't think I was above it, just knew I wasn't of it. Stay true through all the hatred, my nigga, you got to love it. Now, Thugging, but thugging in my peripheral shit Between my partners and cousins I had the visual trauma Empirical, a miracle I didn't sing When you see so many coming and going It makes you think, hmm, what have I done To still be here and still see clear Knowing the end can still be near End of the day, we gon' all fade away My body is gon' go, but my soul is gon' stay I ain't playing, I'm grown now People saying I sold out End of the day, we gon' all fade away My body is gon' go, but my soul is gon' stay I ain't playing, I'm grown out People saying I sold out We was youngins on the east side Had the pretty feet sneaking out the show they sweet side Way before they heard about the club they know that V-Live If I ain't learn nothing on the set I know to keep quiet If I ain't learn nothing on my block I learn to keep my enemies close Cause I'm kin from the rope That's who sank in the boat Planned it out when I couldn't buy a friend And I needed seen the magic in the soul A lot of niggas ain't believe it A lot of niggas ain't receive it just ignore the message, can't ignore the blessings I was more than stressing, wish your words with no action Let's get active, pressure, pressure, pressure Running please. how I practice Industry, I'm mobbing like the streets Just repackage knowledge is G Power and numbers, dollars is key Camaraderie deep, tied up, knots on the sneaks And we done loaded all the bases When I stepped up out the meeting They the say day, I'm so out. away My body is gon' go, but my soul is gon' stay I ain't playing, I'm grown now People saying I sold out End of the day, we gon' all fade away My body is gon' go, but my soul is gon' stay I ain't playing, I'm grown out People saying I sold out Is a phase that I can't fix My ego too big to make a nigga change shit And my whip too old So I Billy Lane switch And my bitch too cold I spit heat but can't vent Fuck your two cents Back as the youth knew I was a nuisance Vision peak different No time for the sneak disses Say I want it then I got it nigga But where I been a problem nigga Since a Tyler I been really mobbing Nights with cloudy vision Tequila bathe my liver About 5 a.m. I'm tripping Young seeing shit that's different Other night they took my nigga Felt indifferent at times Never listened, been blind with the blind lead on my side Thirst traps and menages still to the neck Grind for my family and die about them Late night tripping with clicks from the empty hollow So deep as a bitch, going deep than a bitch Keep a leash on my sense, still releasing a bitch End of the day, we gon' all fade away My body is gon' go, but my soul is gon' stay I ain't playing, I'm grown out People saying I sold out End of the day, we gon' all fade away My body is gon' go, but my soul is gon' stay I ain't playing, I'm grown now People saying I sold out Welcome back, Free Play Radio. Shout out to Troy LLF for pulling up on me, man. You know, in crunch time. But we got we got Bryce Savoy in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me, man. It's a pleasure. How pleasure you, to be here. How you doing today, bro? This is our this is our first time actually meeting. I know, bro. I've been I've been keeping up with you, bro. Like uh, for years, bro. So likewise, man. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. So thank you for um for the opportunity, bro. Yes. Yeah, so for the people that you know may be unfamiliar. Where where are you from, and and how did you get into music? Yeah, so Bryce Savoy, um, from East Oakland, California. 
Um, and like I started in music, <clears throat> shit, really since birth. Um, my unk, shout out my unk, rest in peace, unk, G Nut. Um, he was a part of One Eight Seven Fact, which was you know a faction with um Spice One. Okay. Um, him and Spice One went to high school together, so they they kind of like you know locked in some from school, and then um he did the music stuff. He had a group called Dingy that he did with his uh. His other um, cohort, and then from there, I've been mobbing ever since. And so, as a young kid, they put me on, um, and just being around them, experience and soaking up the game, along with my cousin G Molly. Okay. Um, that's how we, we just, you know, been going ever since then. So, I put me in the studio, 2003. I was 11 years old, and I've been Damn. since. Do you remember yeah. your first rap? Yeah, I I do. I remember like the first <laughs> maybe four or five bars. I still do have a song though, like the actual. Um, original song the song was called get loony okay i was in sixth grade and so was myself molly um and two other my two of my other homies um who was rapping with me at the time so just been locked in ever since honestly okay okay for sure no that's dope and i feel like you know some someone gave you like the tools at a at an early age yeah kind of like they seen something inside of you already for and sure. if they didn't see it inside of you they, they wanted you to see inside of yourself absolutely you and, it, and it took time to do that to, to see it inside myself because i always had other um passions mm -hmm. and, and um, basketball school yeah so i had other stuff you know that i was I, that was occupying my time mm -hmm. but i always did music and it never it never left me since then so that's how i know this is the, this is the gift for me okay for sure so neighbor neighborhood diamonds yep. that was was that your first official project or was that <clears throat> so yeah that was like so that was my first official full-length project under bryce savoy okay um, i had a different name prior to that mm -hmm. and that was uh i had a couple different projects but i feel like this is my first i consider my first body of work and so i you know presented it as such um mm -hmm. and just kind of curating the sound kind of feeling you know where i stand and who i am as an artist okay this was like the first the first one i want to stand behind okay for sure and what was what was the concept behind the title yeah so neighborhood diamonds um the concept you know i uh bigger than just a project neighborhood diamonds is really a community that i um created and i built really just to just to shine some light in the world man it, it's so much darkness going on in the world as you know and everybody listening knows and they say you know people who are in darkness don't know where they're going and so it's up to me um and my community to kind of be that light mm -hmm. in hopes of encouraging and inspiring other people to you know let their light shine for the world to see so that's what the the overall overarching um goal of neighborhood diamonds is mm -hmm. and then you know obviously continue to brand it and then keep everything aligned right 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 you got the project neighborhood diamonds okay for sure and i feel like just <clears throat> the aesthetic of the whole like the project from the lyrics is yeah. like when you say you know the community part it's sure. like you you put that in the music as well yep. so is it is it important for you to as a as an artist to kind of not like let's not make it the cliche like live your raps but it's like i definitely want to uh implement what i'm actually doing into the music yeah that's that's that was um extremely important to me like you know prior like i said I, i've had like shit maybe three or four different artist names like from 2003 till now mm -hmm. and um and i just decided to go with myself my name bryce savoy um in 2017 it just everything i just felt free i just felt true i could just be myself you know music and rap more importantly is built off these characters and these monikers and people make you know millions of dollars off of it which i respect and admire but i knew for myself in order for me to really give it my all and yeah. do it the way that i need to do it i had to come in and be able to live as myself so there's no separation of like bryce avoid like bryce is all the same person whether right. i'm doing music community work mm -hmm. or just being a you know a, a son um Man. a brother all those different yeah. things so that's really what it was for me. Okay, for sure. So you got you got a record, Shine Your Light. Yeah. And that's that's off Neighborhood Diamonds. That's off Neighborhood Diamonds, yeah. What was the like the recording process like for that one? Yeah, so that so Neighborhood Diamonds was was great as well. It's special it's a special uh just a special project for me because I made it in the midst of COVID. You know, mm -hmm. COVID had just started. I think it was like a so you, mind you, I'm coming off of a um five city tour mm -hmm. right before literally like the day that COVID pretty much hit and it was just like a wor wi worldwide spread thing was on my birthday so I was supposed to have Damn. my fifth and final stop at LA but everything got shut down we ended up doing it in my crib <laughs> shout out to everybody who pulled up um but after that you know COVID hit and nobody knew what was going on and so it took me months to kind of just figure out what's next like what am what am I supposed to be doing in that time um learned pro tools learned how to really engineer and mix myself and um neighborhood diamonds was the first 
uh, result of that. And so that Shine Your Light record actually is crazy because that was like the last record that I recorded on the project. Shout out T. Wallace. And, and by that time, I feel like I kind of had like listeners fatigue. So mm -hmm. I recorded it. I laid it. And I was like, I wasn't too sure about it. And I think I sent it to T. Wallace who produced it. Mm -hmm. um, and he was like, yeah, that's it, bro. Yeah. And when it came out, that was one of the ones that everybody kept fucking yeah. with. And nah. I was like, damn, I was kind of surprised. Nah, that's one of the ones I really fuck with. I fuck with your shit, but these one of my ones. But you, I'm going to get into one, my shit, the, the shit I fuck with. For sure. I'm going to be honest with you. Not but a yeah, love. but we about to get into it. Uh, Bryce Savoy, Shine Your Light. Let's get it. It's off the Neighborhood Diamonds project. Where can they find you at? Um, so I'm on all platforms, Bryce Savoy 510, and um, all streaming platforms as well, Bryce Savoy. All right, Tap let's in. get it. Let's get it. Bryce Savoy, Shine Your Light. Yep. Neighborhood Diamonds. Neighborhood Diamonds. Represent Diamonds in a rough for a while. Yeah. yeah, I started this rap shit in 2003, y'all. 17 years later, and here we are. I'm at the fashion district a couple times a week. Executing visions ain't no time to think. Flashing back to days when I ain't know my purpose. But look how far I came, shit was more than worth it. When Nipsey Hussle died, it really touched my soul. Then Kobe Bryant died, I almost lost control But that was not in vain because they paved the way The blueprint that they laid is why I'm made today I wake up every morning thanking God for life And pray he give me strength to never dim my light Even when I had no money, I still had a sight With it all on the line, I still roll the dice This world gon' let you down, so put your trust in self Cause once you in the ground, it ain't nobody else A man of many hats, no matter where I'm at Planting all these seeds before I fade in black Nothing lasts forever, but y'all knew that though If it won't take your people further, what you do it for? Winning every day, so we ain't keeping scope But we up in every way, just to let you know I feel like if I'm living, then I gotta get it And if I put my name on it, then I gotta feel it A king who wears his crown, and y'all all a witness Ain't no slowing down, I'ma go the distance just shine your light, yeah. Let your light shine. Baby, just shine your light. Let your light shine. My nigga, just shine your light. Let your light shine. Be that light in the dark and shine bright. Let's go. Recording at the crib, I'm in another zone. Rapping engineer, I did it on my own. The independence way, I had to set the tone. Meet me at the clouds, and that's where the tone. I never wanted clout, I just want respect. Fuck the middle man, I'm getting mine direct. Put one in the air to minimize the stress Heavy on the grind until the lines connect Meeting after meeting, I'm plotting and building Mapping out this wealth for my future children I ain't satisfied if I can touch the ceiling Thankful I'm alive, it could all be different you Gotta stay consistent, this shit about persistence Avoided all they traps, I'm not a statistic Fuck did you expect, I'm running the business Better come correct if we talking logistics It just different on a mission to enriching everything I get my hands on My word I stand on So if I land wrong I'm still okay Know that I'ma be that light till I fade away Just shine your light, yeah Baby just shine your light, uh. My nigga just shine your light Be that light in the dark and shine bright Let's go Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, so we gotta tell them how this game go. Yeah. I lose from the city in a GT coupe. Got repossessed, I was hurt. I quit my job, I was working. Invested in myself, I was certain. Knew that I would blow. Took a risk, 5K into a show. Lost 1500 at the door. So, see when you a boss, is how I go. Bitch, I lost everything but hope. Talk about growth. In the deep end, trying to float. Feel like I'm in the snow without a coat. Nigga, you ain't know. This is the type of shit they don't show. When it's only five people at your show, what would you do? I was backstage turning blue in the face because I let down the crew. Let down the who? You can only let down you. Take notes, I'm going to tell you what to do. Pick yourself up, dust that shit off your shoulders. Get yourself together, you the closer. Breathe. Gain your composure. 
Bitch, it ain't over till it's over. I used to run the city in the GT coupe. Ayy, got repossessed, I was hurt. Yeah, I quit my job, I was working. Invested in myself, I was certain. Knew that I would blow, took a risk, 5K into a show. Lost 1500 at the door. So, see when you a boss, that's how I go. Bitch, I lost everything but hope. Look, take a couple losses just to cherish a win. Feel like you drown until you learn how to swim. Took the last that I had and invested it in. I got faith in my hustle, I invested again. I put seven in the merch, 15 in the stocks. Still a couple pickles up, put them in the box. They ain't wanna let us in, we start picking the locks. Work smarter, not harder, how you get to the top. Shooting hoppers in the shots, let me get to my spot. Make sure your T got a cross and your I got a dot. Get a team that believe, put the price in the pot. Stay cool under pressure, live life on the rocks. And they used to run the city in a GT coupe, ayy, got repossessed, I was hurt, yeah, I quit my job, I was working, invested in myself, I was certain, knew that I would blow, took a risk, 5k into a show, lost 1500 at the door, so, see when you a boss, that's how I go, bitch, I lost everything but hope, yeah, 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 welcome back, man, Free Play Radio, <clears throat> That was GT Coop, La Russell and Tope featuring one more N8. Mm -hmm. But we got Bryce Savoy in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We in it. We in here, man. Definitely, definitely. I got to ask you, what's, what's the best part of being an artist to you? Um, The best part of being an artist, I would think just for me, just is to create the, to create, like, really just seeing, like, the ideas that you have in your head um, come to life and, and, and then having them received in the way that you intended for them to be received i think that's like the the most rewarding part and then also to kind of like see people who are affected by it um and inspired by it in person and mm -hmm. kind of um reciprocate that energy and that love no definitely i think that's the that's the dopest part honestly okay for sure so i gotta ask you being from oakland what did you, what did you grow up listening to um yeah being uh, growing up in oakland man I, I listened to everything of course at that time in my like formative years the hyphy movement was was very big so of course e40 of course mac dre kick the sneak the team um shit, who else uh the federation uh, Messy Marv, mm. Shady Nate, the whole Live Wire campaign. Um, everybody from all different sides of the Bay Area, not just Oakland, but of course, home base. Three Times Crazy was a was a big influence um, mm -hmm. in my life, especially like a lot as a kid, but like especially even more now as an adult. Right, I appreciate that shit way way more now. So, because um, you have a different understanding of the music. Yeah, because mm -hmm. as a kid, you you more so is it moves you, right. but. It hits you different once you, once you like become an adult and you've actually gone through some of the things that yeah, the artists were talking about. For sure, and just to kind of like you said, um, know that these people came and walked like the same streets, the same mm -hmm. path, been to, you know frequent the same spaces that I did. Mm -hmm. It um it made a profound impact on me. So all of those I was listening to everybody. Okay, so I feel like throughout your music, um, there's a um, an independent narrative yeah. yep. like and you you implement that really like really well and cohesively to where it's not like um to where it's not necessarily like a, like a you don't you wear like a badge of honor but mm -hmm. it's not as like cliche as some people try to make it seem yeah. you feel me like you believe in yourself and that's why you independent not because you don't necessarily want to fuck with nobody it's yep. like nah i just believe in myself this much Facts. so where does that foundation come from man you you hit that uh right the nail right on the head like, i couldn't have said it better myself um I think that just comes from over time and just, you know, I put a lot of, uh, of time, energy, money, um, mm. a lot of blood, sweat and tears and sweat equity into this, into this art form and um, necessarily not seeing it pay off financially. And so mm -hmm. it was like, okay, let me really kind of like business up, wisen up and really get smart and learn the game as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And um, know that with that knowledge and that information, that's everything. That's, that's really what it, what it comes to. That's really what it's all about. And then also creating leverage for myself because of this information um, mm -hmm. and presenting that to the world. So it starts with music. Yeah. But like you said, it, it's just a belief in self and in all areas of your life. So I know a lot of people that, you know, support this independence movement and they're not in the music industry or they, not, they might not be like heavy consumers to music or even my music, but they believe in that idea of being independent and being free 
in what you do and be able to set your own terms and live life in the way that you want it to. And so that's really what was really important for me. That's why I want people to take away from the movement more mm-hmm. than anything else. And like you said, I see now, and I was, you know, years ahead of that, three steps ahead. Um, yeah. But I see now that independence is kind of yeah. being, being waved. It's, it's getting oversaturated. Mm-hmm. Into everybody wanting to, you know, take on that energy, which is great, but it's like, we come from this. I come yeah. from the Bay Area independent mindset. So yeah. by nature, that's what I'm a, um, a doctor. Built for it. Yeah, built for it, 100%. Yeah. So okay. Nah, that's th- how I look at it. No, nah, that's that's beautiful. Uh, how do you feel about, you know, direct to consumer? Like, I, when, as far as the music goes? Yeah, I think that's very, very key. And um, for me, I think my most recent example, who I always look to, and I've said it in a lot of different interviews, and people who know me know, mm-hmm. um, Nipsey Hussle was, mm-hmm. a, was, a, was a pioneer in a lot of ways of that but then you take into consideration people like e40 too short master p like the independent game in the bay area and um so i think directing consumer is everything because it's like you take away the consumer you don't really have anything mm-hmm. you have the art but you need somebody to you know digest it and sell it and um consume it right yeah so that's why that shit is important and i think also a lot of these um corporations a lot of these platforms at the end of the day they're they're the, they're there to make money so mm-hmm. the the Whenever that comes a time where they not where they feel like they're not making a return on their investment, when they haven't netted any income after, you know, these annual uh, projections and talking to these shareholders, if it ain't, you know, financially viable for them, mm-hmm. you're going to see a shift. And so my thing is like trying to be prepared for that because you have to put your, let's be real, in order to kind of be accessible and, and get your music consumed, you have to put it everywhere. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you got you to gotta have a way for people to come directly to you mm-hmm. and get some type of interaction and exchange. That could be music. That could be merchandise that could be knowledge and wisdom as well so i look at that and that's that's very very important to me for sure no definitely uh just speaking of the music you have a record <laughs> off the latest project king diamond yes it's called granny said yeah that's a special one the title is kind of self-explanatory in yeah. a sense but what is what does the record mean to you man that means everything and it means so much more now that my um grandmother shout out my granny uh just passed away a couple weeks ago and so I had made that song about a couple of months ago, and if I mean last year sometime. And if you listen to the excerpt, um, a lot of it, me and my grandmother having a conversation. My grandmother suffered, you know, before she passed away from dementia and Alzheimer's, mm. and um, she would have. Bro. Uh, thank you, appreciate it. And she would definitely have moments of, you know, being there and, and kind of making sense. And then most of the time it wasn't. So mm-hmm. I happened to catch her at a good time, and so just that song from her excerpt to what I'm kind of detailing in the song is just a, a journey of yeah. spirituality of uh growth and just overall love for the man above and so this is this is special because she introduced me to god so oh man it's dedicated to her shout definitely, out granny definitely bro shout out to your grandmother bro thank you um i definitely want to get into this record though uh it's one of my favorite records just because and i'm not trying to make this interview about me at all but <laughs> i didn't grow up with my grandmother Dang. like she she passed when, when i was like five i had another grandmother that passed when i was two so Hearing, like, I, I live vicariously through other people with grandparents, honestly. Damn, so up. just hearing this song and being able to, like, like experience what you experienced at the same time, it was like, it touched me in a way that I have to play it, bro. That's so, powerful. Uh, definitely, bro. So I want to get into it. Granny said, Bryce Savoy, off the, his latest project, King Diamond. Let's get it. A person like you who make a big difference in people's lives. When you're not going to come somebody, you can make up for that. Anything I sell, I'm gonna make sure money off of it or whatever I'm gonna sell it. That's how I pay for it. But that's not the right way. But I'm just saying anything that you do and then, then serving the Lord like you do as a young man, that is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. People say they want the old me. Be the same ones that barely even know me. No amount of pressure can control me. And no amount of money can console me. Oh three was the year oh, nigga started this. Unk put me in the booth and I've been on it since It don't gotta make a dollar to make common sense The gems I'm giving worth some billions, baby, ownership I'm tryna own this shit while they tryna get on it Fuck the listening alone and thanking God for every moment Just when I think I'm at my strongest, I get stronger The hours getting longer, my stomach growling from hunger Sometimes I wonder if my life really real Either I'm coming or I'm going I can never sit still on this hill Trying to build something bigger than self So no complaining, play the cards that I'm dealt You better know it, nigga Granny said don't it, ever nigga. lose your faith Granny said that God gon' make a way Hallelujah, amen Every day and every night I pray 
Cause granny said we gon' see better days Hallelujah, amen On my front and my back Dodging each and every trap As I walk through the valley of death Get these feelings off my chest Leave with love and do my best Let my maker take control of the rest Early morning watching sermons with my granny Yeah don't know your purpose, she won't never understand me Built his ugly before the rain ever came So uncanny, fucked the world so many times And for so long I used the plan B I was afraid of giving birth to my gift Till I got wrapped up in his presence Oh, how quickly it shifts Shining bright with no ice on my wrist So when you see me, know it's more than the glitz It's gonna take more than some fits Being thrown and true colors being shown To ever get me out my fucking zone I'm going strong, depression's on So you know just how a diamond do Hard to be humble when that lion is inside of you Somehow I knew it would come to this Put my mind on independence and been gunning since VIP behind these limo tents If I don't feel it, then I can't commit This shit is heaven sent yeah. Granny said don't ever lose your faith yeah. Granny said that God gon' make a way Hallelujah, amen Every day and every night I pray Cause Granny said we gon' see better days Hallelujah, amen On my front and my back Dodging each and every trap As I walk through the valley of death Get these feelings off my chest Leave with love and do my best Let my maker take control of the rest This song is dedicated to Isabel Payne Brown AKA my grandma taught me a lot throughout this lifetime. But most importantly, she introduced me to God. For that, I'm forever grateful. Love you, grandma. Love you, grandma. You're your favorite grandson. <laughs> uh, a couple of bands off the brand for the past month. Last year, I was broke, guess I'm moving up. Paying dues every day, shit is adding up. Making moves in every way, can never have enough. Like a lux, it's a rush that can't be explained. But if you know, then you know, baby, that's the game. Stayed in my lane, never switch, never slow down. But I did, cause it's clear on that road now. Homebound, a legend within my hometown. No time for waiting, gotta take it around the globe now. They was never trying to build with me, but how them niggas gotta deal with me. See, one thing about them tables is they always turn. So if you don't embrace the lesson, you won't ever learn. Lying to yourself till you crash and burn. If it don't involve the vision, it ain't my concern. Go hustle each and every day. Hustle each and every day. Come in each and every way. Come in each and every way. I don't know what else to say. I don't know. I don't know. But a nigga hit a stay one more time. Look. Hustle each and every day. Hustle each and every day. Come in each and every way. Come in each and every way. I don't know what this is for you. I don't know. I don't know. But I know what this is for you.